at some point when you're prototyping with Arduino, you really are going to stop using this board and maybe go over to an ATtiny. And I've shown you how to program an ATtiny using the Arduino as an ISP, but it's a little convoluted. There's wires you have to hook up. It's a great solution for programming a couple of ATtiny's, but if you really want to make it much simpler, there is a solution for you. It's by Adafruit. It's called the Trinket. And this is an ATtiny on here. There's a couple different flavors of it running different speeds, different voltages. This one happens to be an ATtiny 45 that is running on 5 volt. And I know that because right in the corner here it says 5 volt as opposed to 3.3 volt. And I just picked that because many of my sensors are 5 volt compliant. And the fact is I just think in 5 volt more than I think in 3.3 when I'm working with Arduino. So I like this one. And what's different between this and just wiring up your own ATtiny on a breadboard is you can notice right away, there's a USB port. Now I'm not gonna walk through every single step and upload code to this one. I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks on how to use it. I showed you how to upload code to the ATtiny 45 in an earlier video. And this one, I just wanna show you some of the tips and tricks for working with the trinket. If you're planning on using a lot of ATtiny's or wanting to experiment with an ATtiny, this is well worth the investment. It costs a few dollars. It's under $10, I think about $7. And it makes programming ATtiny so easy. Now, my first tip when working with the Trinket is really important. It's probably going to save some of you hours, if not days of misery. And you can see this uses a micro USB port. And no big deal, right? Because we all have these, especially with the proliferation of all these battery backpacks for your smartphones or wireless speakers. They all seem to come with these micro USB cords. Now, here's the thing. Many of them do not work with data. Why? I don't know if it's subpar quality or if they just don't have the data lines. Reality is it doesn't matter. It's just the fact that some do not work. A couple of months ago, I was working on a project where I needed a micro USB and it took me hours until I realized the USB wire just doesn't transfer data. So make sure you have a good one, make sure that it will work, test it on other things. So when you first go to program this, if nothing works, check this cable. Tip number one, trust me on this one. It's really awful when everything is right and it's really just a lousy cheap usb cord so that being said i'm going to plug in my usb cord and i want to show you something when you plug this in stock it kind of let's see it lights up and you see this pulsing red and a green light green lights just indicating that it's got power and everything's good the pulsing is in bootloader mode and the difference between using an arduino and using this trinket is you need to enter bootloader mode before you click upload. That's very, very important. Where in an Arduino, you can just check your boards right, your serial ports right, and you're done. This one, you can't check the serial port. So before you ever click upload, you click this little button on here, and hopefully that will go. Let's well, see, it, it didn't go into boot mode. And that was my next tip and trick, was the fact that sometimes when you press that button, it will not go into boot mode. So I actually unplug the USB port and plug it back in to get it to go into boot mode. Now, let me show you how to set it up. There's a couple of little tricks here. First off is you're going to need to add the board file for the trinket and you'll go to boards manager under tools and you'll be able to type in Adafruit. And you'll see I have Adafruit AVR boards in here. Now, depending on what Arduino IDE you're running, sometimes it doesn't show up in the boards manager. So I want to show you where I installed it. I actually installed it from here. I go into preferences and then right here, additional board managers. You can click on this and then let me open this up so you can see it. Right here is the link that can be found on the product tutorial page of the Adafruit Boards Manager, and I pasted it into this actual area, and that's how I included the board in there. When you do that, make sure you shut down the Arduino IDE and fire it back up, and when you do, you will find in your board a whole section here of Adafruit Boards, Flora, Feather, Trinket, and I'm using the Trinket 8 megahertz. The other thing you need to do is, you'll see there's no port, but you'll have to change your programmer from whatever you had it set before AVRISP, AVRISP, MK2, to USB Tiny ISP. 
That's another point that a lot of people get stuck. They keep uploading and uploading and it doesn't work. You'll get an error in the Arduino dialog box on the bottom saying it can't find the board or there's a programming error. Typically it's because you don't have that set. So just remember, install the board, select the port and make sure you have the right programmer. Once that's all said and done, take a look at the documentation because remember we're not gonna blink pin 13 on here, right? If we wanna blink the built-in LED, we're gonna blink pin zero. And that's all clearly documented on their website. The Trinket is a really great dev board for the AT Tiny platform. And I highly recommend you pick these up for your Arduino prototyping toolbox.